Woo, this is about to piss a lot of Negroes off. You can't be doing nothing like this, brother, in Black History Month. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Folk Yours and Folk Aramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone who's been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel. From comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks? Hope y'all all doing well. Make sure y'all follow me up here, over there, right there, and right here. And I'm also on Twitter as The Real Ty Smith. And I also have another YouTube channel called man husband father appreciate it if y'all would do that don't forget to get into the cell phones go on y'all contact list let somebody know about this channel in your contact list if you would please Woo! this gonna get pretty uh yeah y'all all saw the title you saw the title and uh if i'm able to pull this up y'all can go along with me on this one i ain't, I ain't going in this one by myself y'all ain't about to do this to me but y'all see it right there yeah, buddy. Harvard professor says all hell broke loose when his study found no racial bias in police shootings. First thing that started happening. I bet this white man don't know. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, he'll say that. Why? Of course, you're going to have a white man to get on here and say blah, 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 blah. Right. That was the first thing that spewed out a lot of y'all mouths when I said I was going to do this, when I showed a few of my. uh. You know, I just I like I like to do this. I show a few folks some things that I do on my channel and uh you know, just to kind of I don't want to say use a word or ruffle some feathers, but yeah, you can say that. All right, let me move myself over a little bit here. Harvard professor says all hell broke loose when his study found no racial bias in police shootings. Roland Fryer said he lived under police protection during the fallout of his study. How dare this professor who's most likely gonna be a white professor who doesn't know nothing more than to push his white privilege and his narrative well fortunately he's not white at all a harvard professor said all hell broke loose and he was forced to go out in public with armed security after he published a study that found no evidence in racial bias in police shootings during a sit-down conversation with barry weiss of the free press harvard economics professor roland fryer discussed the fallout from a 2016 study he published on racial bias in Houston policing. The study found that police were more than twice as likely to manhandle, beat, or use some kind of non-fatal force against blacks and Hispanics than against people of other races. However, the data also determined that officers were 23.8% less likely to shoot at blacks and 8.5% less likely to shoot at Hispanics than they were to shoot at whites. Oh boy, did I show it too early? Yeah, I, I can already hear that's some that, this this mother effing coon, this mother effing tap dancing, this yes massa, yes massa, yes massa. I can already hear coming. This coon, this boot licking, this porch negro, this house negro, this Uncle Tom. Of course he gonna do something like that because he part of the problem. He blah 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 blah. Y'all y'all hate people like this. You know what? What's interesting is that the, what you can judge the color of anything is what he put this on. Most likely it's going to be black and white. What is that? The ink that's printed out on the white piece of paper. That's about all. It's numbers. Numbers. That's it. Okay. Go ahead and read because I know that I know I know he's going to catch some heat. When Fryer claimed the data showed no racial differences in officers involved shootings, he said all hell broke loose and his life was unpended. Fryer received the first of many complaints and threats four minutes after publication. Quote, somebody said, you're full of boop, the sender said. Fryer said people quickly lost their minds and some of his colleagues refused to believe the results after months of asking him not to print the data. Don't do that. You're going to cause black people to get mad. We can't have black people get mad. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't, don't, you know, don't, don't make black people upset. No, you know, please, 
Keep, keep the black people in deceit. Don't tell them, you know what the problem is with a lot of folks? You hate the truth. You absolutely hate the truth because it doesn't fit the narrative. I do not care what you think of me, what you feel of me. Statistics and facts are exactly what they are. It's no different than me saying that if you are a human being, and based off what we went through in med school, when we cut you open, everything that I have inside of me, a white person has inside of them. Everything a white person has inside of them is everything that that person from India has inside of them. Everything a person from India has inside of them is something that a person in Russia has from them. You got a heart, you got lungs, you got a pancreas, you got intestines, you got duodenum, you got small intestines, you got a, uh, you know what I'm saying, you got a um, kidneys, you got a vast, if you're a man, you got a vast deference, you got testicles. All what I'm saying is for is that you're the same. What are you saying all that for, Ty? That's the truth. No, black people ain't got no organs. You can't tell me. I ain't going to let you cut me open to see. But all, you know, black people ain't got no organs. This is what you've been trained to do, my brothers and sisters. You've been trained to do nothing more than get pissed off and respond instead of accepting statistics and facts for what they are. And guess who happened to be the one to go and do it? A brother. And I know what y'all going to do. Y'all going to discredit him because the results are... It's not what you anticipated them to be. So you get pissed off. Oh, no, no. I can go and do the same exact study that this man did, and y'all going to do the same thing. But you know what? It don't matter. It's the truth. Plain and simple. Anyway, let me get back to this. He said, I had colleagues take me to the side and say, don't publish this. You'll ruin your career. How? By spewing out numbers? What if he studied the number of accidents that happened? And who was involved in these accidents? Y'all remember there was a day where they used to do things like that with us in school? You just you have to do like a hypothesis. You take a car, let it roll down and hit a few things on the ground, whatever like that. And, and you, let's say, I'm going to give you an example for the people that actually who going to be pissed off right now. I got to do things like in very, very kindergarten-like type things. If we all put a car on top of a little ramp and it rolled down and we have it crash and get some, some dominoes, right? If there were black dominoes, white dominoes, and green dominoes, if we all set them up in the same place and we let that car roll down, it's going to have all type of different outcomes. If we do that over 100 times, we're going to find that it's going to be like some type of uh, statistics as to say, even though we rolled the car down the same place at the same time, on the average, it seemed to be more white dominoes that fell than it were black dominoes and green dominoes. And we compared the green dominoes to the black dominoes, it seemed to be more green dominoes that fell than black dominoes because we tested it. That's what you used to have to do, and that's it. There's no bias behind it. There's no agenda behind it. It's simply just pushing out a hypothesis to see if you're going to get certain results. In this case, that's all he was doing. No, that ain't what, no, I don't care. You want to tell you why? Because you deceive by what they show you on TV. So on TV will show you that only black dominoes were knocked down. That hypothesis that I just gave you guys with the car, rolling down and hitting black dominoes, white dominoes, and green dominoes, what media will show you is only black dominoes fail. They won't tell you that, oh, white ones fail too and green ones fail. In fact, it turns out white ones fail more than the black ones and the green ones. That's just it. It's that easy. But I understand because some of y'all don't have the mental capacity to think and to have any sort of rationale to actually have any type of critical thinking. So even just ask the question, well, hey, in the midst of you doing that trial right there, what, what about other ones? So the point is, you've been trained to do nothing more than respond and say, oh, that's BS. That's bull crap. Ain't no way. Because I know for a fact I see on TV every day. I see on social media every day we being pulled over. We being arrested just for being black. We being arrested just for driving being black. We being shot at because that's all they show you. But when you go and look at the statistics, white people are being shot double times than what we are. That's because we make up less than what they do. Yeah, but then we turn around and say, but they, a small percentage of people are, are responsible for almost over 50% of the crimes. Well, and then of that 12% of the population, a huge number of them are in jail, and most of them are male. Anyway, let me digress from that. The world-renowned economist knew from comments by Falcati that he was likely to garner backlash. Fryer admitted that he anticipated the results of the study would be different and would confirm suspicions of racial bias against minorities. When the results found no racial bias, Fryer, Fryer hired eight new assistants and redid the study. The data came back the same. After the report was published, Fryer lived under police protection over a month. He had a seven-day-old daughter at the time and went shopping for diapers. I was going to the grocery store to get diapers with the armed guard, he said. It was crazy. It was really, truly crazy, he said. All because this man printed out some statistics. And then, just to be sure, he had other people come in. Y'all, do this with me. Same result. 
Fryer, who became the youngest tenured black professor at Harvard at the age of 30. Where y'all at? Black history folks? All pro-black folks? Where we at? We should be commending this man, right? This, this is honorable. Youngest black professor at Harvard at 30? Well, no, he, he, the only reason why, because they knew he was going to do that report and all that in favor of them. And that's the only reason why they, they push him up there and promote him to that position. He tap dancing for them white people. He probably could serve it. His wife probably white. That's what you've been trained to do. I know I'm pissing y'all off too, ain't I? Shut your dumb ass up. Go ahead and do it. I'm used to it. Don't, you might as well not even raise your breath in the conversation. If you're going to waste your breath in the conversation, shut your A up, nigga. Shut up, you stupid mother. You probably got a white wife, yo. Go ahead. I'm going, your comment is going to be left out. If you disagree with what I'm saying, you got to, she want to have a, like a point to say, Ty, I don't believe that because of yada yada peanut butter, then do that. But if you're just about to get in here and just start throwing out names, I mean, I believe in free speech, but it's just, it's stupid. That's childish. Anyway, youngest. Black professor at Harvard, and nobody's talking about that. It should be in black history, if you ask me. Like I get that we talk about our old people who died and passed on and gone, but what about the ones still living? You know, you know, like another world renowned world renowned economist. Uh-huh. Thomas Sowell. We ain't gonna talk about that though. Anyway, he said here. Fryer, who became the youngest tenured black professor at Harvard at the age of 30, was suspended for two years from the university in 2019 after he allegedly engaged in unwelcome conduct of sexual nature. He continues to deny the allegations. At the time, then, Harvard Dean Claudine Gay claimed Fryer's research and conduct with other employees exhibited a pattern of behavior that failed to meet expectations within the community. The totality of these behaviors is a clear violation of institutional norms and a betrayal of the trust, she said. Gay resigned from her position at Harvard president in early January after widespread plagiarism allegations and criticism of her testimony to Congress, where she failed to fully clarify whether calling for the genocide of Jews violates Harvard's policies against bullying and harassment. Weiss referencing Gay in her conversation with Fryer asked him if he believes in karma. I hear it's a mother effort. He replied, <laughs> Harvard did not return any request for comment. Anyway, folks, there you have it. There it is. You guys are went along with me on this. What do you guys think it is? Do you think that this right here, for one, do you think that they absolutely, since this has been out since they said it is, do you think that they kept it undercover because they didn't want nobody to know this information? Do you believe in his research and what he did? There are statistics that you can look up online right now. Uh, what's the probability of police officers shooting blacks versus white or any other race there is? Look it up. See what you come up with. See, most people that don't want you to know the truth will tell you, just listen to what I'm saying. Don't go, just listen to what I'm saying. I'm telling y'all the truth. That's it. Just listen, listen, listen. Go repeat what I said. Most people that tell you the truth, they'll tell you, go look it up and find it yourself. Look across the, look across the spectrum. Look up the FBI. Look across the multiple spectrums of statistics when it comes to this. But most people won't do that because they'd rather just not look it up. They don't want to face the truth. Nope. I just want to be mad and pissed off and call you names and do, yeah, yeah, mother. That's, that's what I want to do. I don't want to look it up. Because you're going to find out that it's the truth. And once you hear the truth, you can't go behind that and be like, oh, well, it's the truth. Don't forget, folks, hit that like button if you haven't done it already. Also, hit that subscribe button. Will you? Will you? Will you? Do it. Do it. Do it. Get into those cell phones. Right? Go into your cell phone. Look at your contact list. If there's anybody you have not told about this channel to subscribe to this channel, do that for me, if you will. Besides that, let me hear what y'all got to say on this matter, all right? I am Ty Smith, modern renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here, is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.